Well, a very good evening to you. Thanks for clicking on the UK Europe video blog for this evening. A uh, quick uh, look at the pattern currently and over the next few days as well. And as well as that, we're going to look into next week as well. Now, I continue to look at the, the, the storm system on Friday. Uh, I can't really call it a storm system. It's more like a, just a typical Atlantic system that's going to be pushing through. We've seen that over the course of last night. And uh, we will continue to see uh, damp, dreary, but very mild conditions across the UK and, and Ireland as well. We've got a ridge of high pressure, very, very mild high for this time of year. Uh, that's going to continue to build out of the southwest. So we're going to be seeing temperatures tomorrow even warmer than they were today, I believe. Certainly London had 13 today. Here at my house, it was around 10.5. I think the majority. Uh, saw temperatures uh, over 10 Celsius today. Further towards the northeastern part and down the eastern uh, seaboard of the UK, we've seen cooler temperatures. But uh, overall, we've got a, a much more milder Atlantic high pressure system that's going to be pushing in. And of course, the high pressure itself isn't going to produce bright sunny conditions, but more that damp, very cloudy, very misty and murky uh, regime across the board. Now let's look at the the UK, uh, the sorry, the ECMWF, the current uh, map. This is for today, the upper level pattern, and you can see here the high, the high starting to build in uh, to the UK. You've got the cold air over Greenland, and I'm watching this trough here that's uh, starting to dig down into uh, you know Newfoundland and uh, uh, eastern parts of Canada. That is the the area that I'm going to be watching for starting to migrate. We'll be watching this over the next couple of days, starting to migrate this trough will fill, uh, drain the cold air out of uh, Greenland. Uh, and it has been the case all uh, of the month so far. And that's why I continue to hint at the idea of uh, seeing um, some snowfall uh, on, on Saturday and Christmas Eve. And I continue to suggest that we will potentially see some snow, more so across Scotland. Uh, but I, I really... I, I'm, I, the BBC and many other sources are ruling out this idea uh, of snowfall, but I continue to believe, and I've been saying this all week, folks, that given the pattern we've seen so far, and over the next uh, 48 to 72 hours, the movement, we're, we're seeing that wavy pattern, so of course we're seeing the warmth starting to bleed into Ireland and the UK, but we've got coal in the backside of this trough is digging southwards. As it digs southwards, it's pumping the ridge out ahead of it. So that as this cold air drains out of Canada, uh, Greenland and into eastern parts of Canada and the northwest Atlantic, as it does so, it's deepening this trough. As this trough is then pushing southwards, it's then pumping the warm air out of the Azores region and the eastern uh, subtropical Atlantic northwards. And of course that is where the UK and Ireland is. Out ahead of it, this is the cold air, of course, that we've seen <coughs> excuse me, back last weekend. And folks, it's a progressive pattern. We've got a positive North Atlantic oscillation, no block in there, and therefore the atmosphere and the upper levels can free flowly, uh, flowly, uh, fr uh, free flowly, excuse me, <laughs> That basically means to say we've not got any block there to, to stop this west to east movement in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Looking ahead of Thursday, you can see the ridge starting to build in. Those oranges are suggesting even stronger heights in the upper levels. And that, but to me, suggests that we could be seeing 14, even 15 degrees across the far south of Ireland, around the Galway or, or uh, Gal uh, Galway or Cork area. And as well as that, uh, over Devon and Cornwall as well. It wouldn't surprise me if we've seen a 15 degree reading. Up in Scotland, we could be seeing 14 degrees tomorrow. But if you notice there, folks, from the last frame, look at the trough over Greenland. I'm going to skip back. Let's look at Wednesday. You can see the trough starting to dig down, and of course the colder air. But let's look carefully at Thursday. 
You can see that trough starting to sharpen up. As that trough, like I said to you, dipping southwards, it's pumping this warmer up into Ireland and the UK. As it does so, it then forces the trough and deepens the trough out ahead of it, out east of it. You can see here the brighter blue showing up over in northern Germany and through Poland, as well as the Baltic nations as well. So colder air here, warmer air to the west, colder air to the west. Of, uh, of the UK and Ireland. Now, so, that means to say it's no surprise that by Friday we start to see the trough migrate eastwards, pushing and suppressing the ridge out ahead of it. So you can see here height starting to drop off. Look at the isobars and the upper levels packing together. You've got a tightly packed jet stream roaring across the far north of Scotland. Because these co the cold and warm are starting to get closer together, you can see the heights, the upper level high pressure system really beaten down, squashed. It's squashed uh, both west and east of, of it. You can see the colder air, even stronger cold, pushing down southwards over far eastern Europe. So it's not it's not rocket science here, folks, that when you skip ahead to Saturday, we've got a system, remember, undercutting this trough here. So we've got an area of low pressure now pushing into Scotland at the point where we enter Saturday. Look at Saturday. You've got the trough here digging a northwest flow, colder air getting pushed back in across Ireland and the UK. Now, folks, if there's moisture play, why can we not see snow from this? And there's very, very little uh, out there that suggests that we're going to see snow across Scotland. I'm continuing to suggest that we will potentially see that snow. That is not the important feature. The important feature is reading the pattern, not looking and getting